Hey yeah, Retroburn here. Today we are going to have another unboxing Warhammer 40k goodies video. So this time around is going to be a Death Guard unboxing one. Where we unbox this Plague Marine set. So I'm going to go down this queue in unboxing. The $165 package I bought from Games Workshop. If you've, if you've been following this channel, uh, I put that up a few weeks ago. Also, the last vid I unboxed is Eldar Guardian. So, if you want to see more in Warhammer 40k unboxing videos, you might want to subscribe. But, yep, this time around, we're going to unbox this Plague Marine. So, without further ado, let's put all these away so we can concentrate on the Servants of Nurgle. So, here we go. So, we're going to see. The box's side panels before opening this one. So I'm going to make this unboxing a very simple one. No reviews or anything fancy like that. And this is Games Workshop um, suggested color scheme. And just pause the video if you want to read all of these. Here you go. A brief overview of what's inside. The horrors of what's inside. So, yeah. I didn't like the way Games Workshop shipped this one because I thought that the, the, the whole thing was secure, but it turns out that there's a dent. But we can use this to our advantage and then just. Stab this pair of scissors right here. There you go. And then let's rip open the plastic. And that's some serious cardboard damage right there. Here we go. The Plague Marine set. Bought this one for fifty dollars, even more expensive than the Kill Team Manual I just bought a, a, a month back. I mean, it, it the the manual came with this package. So in next shipment, maybe I'm going to order the Arena box set, so I can have battle reports to show you guys. My wife currently plays with Death Guard prox card with proxies because I'm like that. I usually just play with uh, my kill team lists with card with proxies, see if they're viable and if they are. That's the time I assemble what I order from Games Workshop. There's nothing here, right? Nothing else. Nope. So let's put this aside. And then let's inspect the sprues first. So I think these are 35 mm plastic bases or 25 mm ones. I think these are these are 35 mm because plague marines are huge. So I'm not too sure what size these are because I'm new to the world of Warhammer 40k. But I try. So where's screw number one? Is this labeled or something? Anyway, we'll, we'll go through this one first. Here you go. So there's, I think this is the bubotic axe. And what's that? Bolt gun, I think. Pieces of chainmail. Ooh, nice details right there. There's a plasma pistol, if I'm not mistaken. Another bolt gun right there. A uh, bolt pistol. What is this? I'm going to take this off cam. Oh, that's a foot. And this one is a shoulder pad with a leaving face right there. Body. Piece of a cape. Uh, this is a blight launcher, I think. Yeah, it is. And what is this thing? Is that a blight grenade or a crack one? 
do it sideways so you can see all the angles the better to see all the recesses these tiny things have there you go and flipping it over I'm going to have fun customizing these guys. This is a head, right? I have no idea what this is. Anyway, I'm going to consult the manual after this. I mean, after I've finished, I've finished with this video. I like this head. Very ominous, very foreboding. I just imagine you going up against a helmeted guy shows nothing but darkness underneath kind of like that and here's another one so this is what is that a power axe do death guard have power axes what do they call them in the death guard or is that the uh, i think this is the great plague lever i'm not too sure like i've said i'm new to Warhammer 40k, so there are some things that... This is the Maze of Contagion, I think. I think this is the Great Plague Cleaver. Memory serves. There's a Plague Knife. And what is this? It's either the Plague Belcher or the Plague Spewer. So one is a heavy, one is an assault weapon. Ouch. Ah, that hurt. Jesus, these things have spikes. There we go. That, that's another bolt gun, right? What is this thing? Oh, it's a torso. There we go. So viewing this at, a, at an angle, so you can see all the recesses, the shad, the contrast between light and darkness should highlight all that. And then the third and final sprue. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to so use this one. This is the torso for one of those, for one of them, right? And here's another, what's that, Plague Sword? Plague Knife right here. There's an Icon of Despair. Yep, there's an Icon of Despair. And what is this thing? I think it's a handle for one of the weapons. I'm not sure which one though. So this is the Flamethrower thing, I think. Plague Belcher or Plague Sewer? Still don't know the difference between the two. And what is this? I think it's one of the parts for the the, uh, the flail of corruption. Here you go. There's another one right there. And here's another torso, right? No, it's a shoulder pad. And then a plasma gun. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. Because I've assembled a kill team li list for my death guard, and I don't think I have a space for a plasma gun. S wait, uh, viewing this at an angle, the contrast of light and shadow can let you see all the details of the minis. I mean, the the, the pieces. Here we go. And then flipping this over. So you can see their points of connection if you're curious. And viewing this at an angle to see the recesses again. 
contrast of light and shadow will make you see all the details rather than if you just uh, view this at a flat angle. There you go. So that's the third and final sprue. And of course, you've already seen the bases. There you go. And the instruction manual. So this is, of course, as expected, more... It's thicker than the Crafter World Guardians box. Here you go, Plague Marine. So I'm not going to read every section so as to conserve time. But if you want to read or inspect something, you can just pause the video. So guys, if you like videos like this one, please share, like, or subscribe. It would help my channel so much. Here you go. To other languages right there. So here's the first one. Death Guard Plague Marine one. But you can interchange these, right? Like, if you want a certain torso to go with... Okay, choose the variant you want to build. Okay. But you can still mix and match outside of these suggested ones, right? I'm not too sure. I'll have to find out when I assemble these guys. I'm going to make another video about that. If you guys are into that sort of thing. Yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so you can just pause if you want to inspect, inspect this further. If you want to inspect this longer. Leg knife. There you go. There you go. Death Guard Plague Marine 2. So there's another variant right there. That's him uh, holding the Mace of Contagion, I think, and the Bubotic Axe, I think. Not too sure, and this one is holding, what is that? A bolt gun, and what is this? This, this is just like a chainsaw thing. No idea what that is. Is it listed there? Um, no, it's not. I could be wrong, though. Mace of Contagion. Here you go. So... Okay, so there's a ball and... I think there's a socket joint here. You can just place magnets there and just make uh, your minis modular, I think. But like I've said, I'm new to the, to all this, so... I'm not too sure. Don't take my word for it. Okay, so it's just a regular bolt gun with a chain thing, a chainsaw thing. Is there a special rule for this thing right here? Not sure. Okay, so there are choices. Awesome, awesome. Death Guard Plague Marine 3. Okay, so choose the variant you want to build. It's A and B. So this one is holding a, a flail of corruption. This one is there's a plague sword, right? And a bolt gun. So plague marine four. Wait, so continue continues right here. Flail of corruption. What is that? Another bolt gun, okay, and a plague knife, and then the shoulder pads go right there.
Plague Marine 5. Here we go. Choose the variant you want to build. There you go. And then is there a sixth one? Oh, still continuous. Right here, continuous right here. That's a blight launcher. These things are mean. I just had a Carter Broxy match with my wife last night. And boy, in Kill Team Maps, this thing can fire at 24 inches. It has a 24 inch range. Really powerful. Very handy at Assault 2 and... I think it's minus 2 AP. Not, not too sure. So the cloak attaches where? I'll just figure it out when I assemble these. So that's a bubotic axe and another bolt gun right there. Plague Marine 5, here we go. Choose the variant you want to build. This one has a plasma gun. And this one has what? It's a plague knife. And what is this thing? Another bolt gun? I'm not too sure. There you go. That's a plasma gun right there. Okay, so this is the plague belcher. And oh, so there's a melted gun. Awesome. But again, I'm not too keen on adding a melted gun to my kill team. I think it has a shorter range now, plasma gun, but it's far deadlier. I'm not too sure. Not too sure. Like I said, I'm new. So this is a sixth plague marine. Here you go. Great Plague Cleaver, and what is this? That's a Plague Spewer, I think? Not too sure. Oh yeah, it's a Plague Spewer. There you go. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. It really has that uh, big, bulky vibe. I'm not too sure which one is the assault weapon, the belcher or the spear. But both are other hit affairs, if memory serves. I really want my kill team to have a great plague cleaver, but I'm not too sure if the points will fit. Choose the variant. A champion with a... Um, Power fist and a plasma pistol. But I have the first strike set, and I think that's what uh, the plague champion there has. So I'm not going to assemble this one. This one has a plague sword, I think. And a bolt gun. This one has what is that? A crack grenade? Light grenade? Okay. Go. Bolt pistol and plasma pistol. Power fist and the plague sword, I guess right. There you go. And then the, sh the sheets, the data card, the data sheets for the plague marines. No, it's just only one because uh, this one is in another another language. This one is two, so this is the only English sheet right here. There you go. The question answered: The plague belcher is the assault weapon, and the plague spear is the bigger one, being a heavy D6 weapon. So both are auto hit affairs, right? Yep. Of corruption, right there, everyone's favorite. But this got nerfed in kill team, 
in the Errata, they nerfed this to just one damage. But I think it's still a very powerful weapon. Because of this line right here, make d3 hit rolls for each attack with this weapon. So like, if you have a Plague Marine that has... If it uh, has an attack rating of 2, you're going to roll 2d3 hits for both attacks. So basically it's similar in kill team if you're into that that um variant of the Warhammer 40k um universe. So you've just seen my Plague Marines unboxing video. So if you like more videos like the the this one guys, stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, it would help my channel so much. So yep, this has been Retroburn. Stay cool, stay frosty.